Neither team obviously wanting to do that. Godwin saving their ace for when it matters most. Connor Nolan on the mound. Strike him out, sit him down. Here we are in the bottom of the first, then Kyle Battle. Well, second baseman battles the sun, gets the out. No harm done with Nolan and company on the mound. Countering Glenn Allen, number 36. Alex Bittison, and that ball is a gappa. It's going to be a double for number nine, Parker Canada. And he is in, sliding home safely here in the top of the second inning later. They try to throw over to third. Aggressive base running by Godwin would lead to this. Ground ball, not going to get him at first. More importantly, that's going to drive home the run from third. Godwin with an early 1-0 lead. They were not done in the inning. Remember, just a week earlier, it was Glenn Allen scoring runs early. This time, it's Godwin. That dog will hunt. Dylan Owens drives home a second run with a double, and Owens gets all the way to third on that play later. The Submariner, Bittison to pitch. That's going down the left field line. That's a base hit. RBI single for Godwin. They score three in the top half of the second inning and have an early three to nothing lead. Meanwhile, more Nolan. The future Princeton Tiger getting a strikeout. Chris Arnold goes down. Nolan, high cheddar. He says no to Connor Hicks. Sits him down. Later, though, runner on second. How about some defense? Tough play. Check it out from short. Fires across his body. That was much, much tougher than it looked. An accurate throw. Still 3-0 lead after two. Glenn Allen trying to get the bats going. They would later. Line drive, base hit. Right down that right field line to 325 sign. Clap and let's go. Hunter Cochran doing the honors. Then it's a walk. Jags in business, two runners on. And then make it three for Kyle Battle. What would he do? Less than two outs, only one in the inning. Strike him out, sit him down. Gets a huge strikeout, does Nolan, but then gets a little wild. No place to put Chris Arnold. Jags right back in it. It's a 3-1 game, just a two-run deficit, and they're still not done. Hit by a pitch is Jamari Baylor. That's going to score another run. Adam Collins comes home. It's 3-2. Then Nolan, strike him out, sit him down. He limits the damage. Not happy with himself because it's a brand-new ball game. But Godwin re retains the lead 3-2 after three. Later in the ball game, Godwin trying to stretch the lead. Line drive, they get the out. It's a double play as they double off the runner off second with runners in scoring position at this point in the game. The feeling was Uncle Mo, momentum on Glen Allen's side once again. Couple of runners on, make it three. Bases full of Jaguars, enter in relief. Harrison Moncure, the lanky lefty. A huge strikeout to get out of the fifth and hang on to that one run lead, Moncure. It's his first year in varsity baseball for the Godwin Eagles. He was paramount later. Another runner in scoring position in the sixth. Runner on second, strike him out, sit him down. Then Moncure getting some help from the DR Wait, How about the base runner? The ball hit the base runner. Rule is the ball hits the base runner while the ball's in play. He is out. And that would take Glenn Allen out of another chance. Let's go to the final frame, seventh inning. Glenn Allen would get the tying run the first with the walk. Harrison Moncure, though. Getting some help from the D. And the final out of the seventh is recorded. Moncure, Nolan, and the Godwin Eagles move on to states as they dogpile the relief pitcher. And yes, he gets a Gatorade shower to boot. Godwin gets the big victory. Three to two, your final. Moncure admits he was a little nervous. I was really nervous. I didn't want to like let the team down. We've been working so hard all year. And I wanted to just make it to the States really badly for my first year on varsity. 